Over the years, as I have taught about the pursuit of joy in the Christian life, one of the effects, and it's a painful one and I think inevitable one, is that some people will feel just devastated. They'll say, I, I'm not the kind of person who feels what you say, what you say I should feel. In fact, um, I may be on medication for depression and I'm just barely hanging on by my fingernails in the Christian life and here you are telling me I should, I should, want, I should be happy in, in Jesus. That really, really burdens me. Burdens me because I know people like that. It burdens me because sometimes I am that kind of person. And so I, I wrote a book in response to that called um, When I Don't Desire God. Subtitle, How to Fight for Joy. The last chapter in that book we took out and made a booklet. That's what this is. And it's called When the Darkness Does Not Lift. It's a chapter on depression. It's a chapter on um, constitutional melancholy. Some people, whether physiological reasons or historic family reasons or uh, trauma reasons, are so wounded in their souls that the thought of living a life of continual joy in God is, is to them like jumping over the moon. It's like flying through the solar system. It's just not going to happen. And so what do you do when the, when the darkness does not lift? Are you, are you lost? Is, are you hopeless? Is there no way forward? And so this is an effort to give hope to people like that because I don't want to give the impression in my Christian hedonism that the kind of joy that we need to have is a chipper kind of joy, a joy that doesn't know pain, a joy that doesn't live with continual sorrows like Paul said he lived with day by day for people. And so if, if you know people or you perhaps are a person who deals with the dark night of the soul more often than you wish, or there are things in your life that are keeping you oppressed in some way, I really do commend this, this little 70-page book to you, which is my effort to deal biblically and pastorally, experientially, with what that means as you encounter Christ in the Bible.